A Washington Post analysis shows that more than 200 former congressional staff members, federal regulators and lawmakers are employed by the mining industry. They work as lobbyists, consultants or senior executives and dozens work for coal companies with the worst safety records in the nation. The revolving door has also brought industry officials into government as policy aides in Congress or officials of the Mine Safety and Health Administration, which enforces safety standards. The movement between industry and government allows both to benefit from crucial expertise, but mining safety experts say it often has led to a regulatory system tilted toward coal company interests. That, they say, has put miners at risk and left behind a flawed enforcement system that probably contributed to this month's Massey Energy mine explosion in West Virginia. There's nothing illegal in industry allies winning appointments to federal agencies, but such relationships have come under increased scrutiny after the West Virginia disaster, which killed 29 miners and Toyota's recent safety problems. Documents show that former regulators hired by the automaker limited the scope of federal probes and at least one vehicle recall. Among mining regulators, 30-year industry veteran Richard E. Stickler created the government's scoring system for identifying and reining in dangerous mines when he was head of the MSHA. That scoring system, which President Obama singled out for criticism in the Massey disaster, has allowed mines with hundreds of unresolved, quote, serious and substantial violations to remain open.